Hi guys, it's Anilis and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Let's load the end of the last save game, which we were playing as Sonampa, who was of course our melee fighter. Of course, Imperial in terms of race. Let's have a look at where we left off at this point. All right, firstly, once the game is loaded, we're going to basically check exactly where we are on the map. As you can see, we are in Falkreath. Falkreath, the city in the south here. We've got a multitude of different missions. The Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. That's, of course, an interesting mission to go for. Um, the Blessings of Nature. That's an interesting one to go for as well. Let's just have a look at where we are at the moment and basically see what we can hand in in terms of quests. I believe we've got a quest over here we can hand in. Well, I can't hand it in because, of course, that's locked. So, carrying capacity. I'm almost at the max. It might be sensible to just sleep here a little bit. See how we can recover some of our health. Well, health, or at least just rest. Oh, did I? I forgot about that. Apologies. Let's get eight hours of sleep. Should take us to about 9.30 in the morning. There we go, more well rested. Alright, let's see if the shop is open now. We're going to see if we can sell some stuff in the shop. Oh, okay. Pretty sure the uh, quest marker was leading to this shop, but it's leading to this guy here. I didn't really want to take that quest. Why can I not get it into that house? Okay. Open the pine. I'm not a provincial, I'm an imperial. I don't want to look at your stuff, I want to sell some stuff. Steel shield. Vampire armor, etc., etc. No. Oh, dragon bones and dragon scales. I kind of want to bring those back home, don't I? Let's have a look at the weapons I'm carrying with me. Dwarven bow. That's a pretty valuable one, isn't it? Staff of Sparks. Okay, Goat Horns. Steal anything from my shop yes, of course, I'm not really looking to steal anything here. I need to go back to my home just to drop off the stuff. I got far too much with me. <coughs> so that's really my first thing to do at this point. Then after that I'm going to basically go after, I guess, the horn. Breeze home, that's the one. Let's drop off my stuff. Death Hound Collar. Really? Okay. Basket I don't really need. Goat Hide Fox Belt. Leather Strips, Iron Ore. Gosh, that's a lot of ore I'm carrying with me. That's, of course, exactly what took up all the weight. As you can see, my weight's dropped substantially here. Vampire dust, interesting. Books, 
Well, food I should be able to sell. Scrolls I can sell. Apparel. Iron gauntlets of major alchemy. Interesting. Ring of minor blocking. Well, let's equip that ring. That seems to be a good ring to have. Empire armor. <coughs> we block. Uh, dropping that in my bag and let's can go downstairs to sell off some of the extra stuff I've got with me right which shop am I gonna go to I'm gonna turn right I think no I've got no clue whatsoever Uh, to be honest, I'm still looking for the Dwarven boots. I've got none. Pity. So let's look at the weapons that we got here. Staff of Fury. Thank you very much. Miscellaneous. Nothing really there. Candlestick, what do I want with a gun candlestick? Golly, let's have a look. Thank you very much. Alright, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back inside to the blacksmith here. And we're going to see what the blacksmith got on offer here. Alright, <coughs> apparel. So, dwarven shield, what have I got at the moment? What kind of shield? I've got a Dorvan shield, so that's fine. So what else have you got that I could potentially use? Dwarven axe of siphoning. Mm, okay. I don't do axes though. Dwarven metal ingot. Okay. Yes, I will check inside the shop because maybe your father, or no, it's not your father, is it? Your employee. He's also got his own set of gear he's selling. Dwarven shield, elven shield. Hmm. Okay, still you don't have the actual boots I'm looking for. It's a bit of a pity. That's a little bit of a pity, but okay. Let's just go with what we got. <coughs> so I got a custom marker there. The horn of. Okay, so I don't want to go to Morthal. What's the first north I've been? Morthal. I can of course go outside and basically take a ride to Morthal. Let's get on the carriage and go and take a ride to Morthal. I know it's going to cost me a bit of money, but that's fine. <coughs> Morthal. Morthal? Alright, instead of walking there. <laughs> Apologies, let's see. So we're at Morthal now. I am looking to go north from here. That would be through the village. I don't want to go through the village, to be honest. So I'm going to basically try to take a slight detour. Hmm, okay. That detour is not really amounting to much, is it? I 
Did I just miss something here? I thought I saw some flowers there I could pick. There we go. Nightshade. Looks a bit like a swamp, doesn't it? Alright. That's quite a bit of a way to go still. But let's make our way there. Alright, one mud crab less. Oh, there's another one. Alright, a bit of Ninroot, Nornroot, Nernroot. Let's bypass this. Never been a fan of that, but okay. Okay. Still heading in the right direction, as you can see. Let's run for a little bit to get a little bit quicker towards our target. Getting stuck on tree branches doesn't really help. a bit of a wasted effort it looks like. And again she's disappeared into the swampy area here. She could well get stuck in the water. And there she's still running away. Too bad. Alright, I think that's where our target is. Let's do a quick save. Alright. Ustengrav, we found you. Alright, no more outlaws. Outlaws are dealt with. What about the one over here in the grass somewhere? Where are you? There. Okay, let's heal up a bit. Okay, there we go. Where was number three? I'm pretty sure there were three of them walking around here. Oop, there's a few more flowers to pick. Let's head on down into here. A bandit, a dead bandit, unfortunately. A chest, some potions. Let's get ready to dive into the actual dungeon. Alright, what can we find within the dungeon? There seems to be more dead bandits here for some reason. Doesn't bode well. Whoop, what have we got? Skeletons on the floor? How lovely. Right, 
What else will we come across here? What else will we face? Alright, that's one less. Oops. She's quite dangerous. Oops, let's use some items because her health is pretty much down to zilch. Ah, her minion has basically disappeared into a pile of ashes. That's always good to see. Not a bandit. Beehive husk. Interesting. Wheat. What else have we got here? A chest. Always a good place to look for anything to pick up. Books read the rising threat. <coughs> okay. Books can always be useful. There's always some knowledge hidden in them, so never afraid of picking them up. So let's have a look at the map. That looks to be the exit. Perfect. Is that yet another bandit? No, a conjurer. Something seems to be attacking these uh, conjurers. I'll let them fight each other, I would say. These joggers here really are getting on my nerves. go. Ah. Close call. Healing up. Nothing useful there. A naked conjurer. That's the one we've just slain. Her ropes are always valuable. What else will we find here? I thought there was a fire etronog here. At least I thought I saw that. Can I get through here somehow? No, not through here. Ah, there we go. It typically is a uh, crystal of sorts there, but not at the moment it looks like. Lots of urns that are empty, which is not even worth all looking into them if they're already marked as empty. And of course a chest. Hide boots got a pretty good weight to value ratio. with content. What have we got here? A Chorus Egg. And of course a Canis Root that we can use for our alchemy. Always good. Allows us to brew our own potions again.
more urns with content. Tales of Talara. Additional restoration points, always welcome. Useful stuff in there at least. So what else have we got in here? There's an extra tunnel there it looks like, which I seem to have missed earlier. Unless that's, no, I think that's the exit, isn't it? So I don't think I can open it from here. That's more the exit one. So on the way back, we'll come back out through there, I suspect. Do a quick save just to be on the safe side. Coin purse. Let's check out that room here first. Whoa. Uh, I'm not so sure. Let's check out below first, maybe. Actually, fact. Oh, there's lots of coins here on the table, of course. Well, lots. A fair number. Okay, nothing else here. A bit of a waste, but okay. Let's have a look. What else do we come across in here? More draugers. This Draugr. Oh, that was a quick uh, finish. Efficient as well. Nice iron helmet, always a good value to weight ratio. Always like those uh, items that got really, really good ratios. stuff. The only thing that wasn't good stuff was that dagger, but yeah, I can take that for, for now. I can always drop that later if I extra need the extra carrying capacity. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. Gustav's Depths. Quick save doesn't hurt here. Oops, something broke out. I just don't know where. Oh yeah, that really helps, doesn't it? Getting flamed like that. That must be below here. So just in time with all the blocks I'm having. That's a, a good skill to use, blocking. Almost always there is some valuable stuff in chests. I'm saying almost always because it's not always the case. Let's keep our eyes peeled here. Is he upstairs? No. There we go. That's the end of him. Yet another undead slain. Wheat. What do I need wheat for? Goat cheese? Sliced goat cheese? No. Oop. Urn? Yes. 
bit of gold. What have we got here? Purple flower. Let's have a look down here. Well, up here, actually. Interesting. That way is blocked, so that's where I could have come through earlier if it wasn't been blocked. Ooh, that would be interesting. That looks to be oil on the floor. Must be some form of fire hazard here. I can probably set that off. There we go. Bye bye. Ooh, two dog or less. That's where I just came from. Let's have a look what's up down this way. Okay, that's one trigger. Is there multiple others? No. Well, let's just open it anyways, and let's see what we can do to open up the second side then. There's a second trigger here. Nice. Don't need the mace. Blacksmith's potion. Nice, nice, nice. And let's have a look. What else do we come across in here? Or down here? <coughs> Troll skull. How interesting. Nothing else of value up here. Let's make our way down here then. And there's a tree growing down here. That's peculiar. Multiple trees, to be honest. More up here, it looks like. Is that it? That's the last. Oh, no, there's more there. Are there more here? No, I don't see anything else here. Except for down there, there is something. Is that a bridge of sorts? No. How do we get the, oh, behind there? Interesting. I don't think there's a way through here. Bye bye. Nope, nothing useful there. Oops, you had something useful as well. Right, anything useful here? Nothing as far as I can see. Ah, look at that. That's what I was looking for. The place where the trees grow. <coughs> Right, what word are we going to learn this time? <coughs> Have I still got any dragon souls to spend? Fate become ethereal. Interesting. Does ethereal mean I can walk through walls? If so, then that would be useful up there where we were just a minute ago. No, I cannot get up there, unfortunately. Unless, of course, I take the other path here. A 
my Draugr. What else do we come across up here? Nothing, it would seem. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use my shout in a minute. Let's have a look at my actual shouts that I've got. How many shouts have I got and how many can I still spend? Whirlwind Sprint. <clears throat> Become Ethereal. Change your form to one of the kind of the harm or the harmed. Okay. Animal Allegiance. Well, let's unlock it first off. Okay. That was, of course, beneficial in the form of me getting that uh, shout from here. <coughs> but now I need to go through the trials of crossing that bridge. And I believe on the other side of the bridge I need to go through a, a running contest. If I remember well. But firstly, there is a skeleton up there. Bye bye, skeleton. <laughs> Anything else up here that's useful? Urns. Other than that, no, nothing useful here. All right, let's try this. There we go. Thank you. Let's just be on our guard in here. Oh, hold on. These are trigger stones as well. Just not sure what I'm triggering. They might be useful against adversaries as well. Oh dear, look at that. Lady spider there. Come on, come to daddy. Well, oh, that was a one shot kill. Two, nice. I almost got torched there. That was not my intent. Oh boy. Oops. Okay. Now let's see where your mother is. Well, she seems to be stuck there, so at least I can utilize the terrain to my advantage. Okay. Did I almost finish her? Is she coming? Yes, she is. And that's the final one. Ooh. And that looks like it's a toast spider. Uh, 
Okay. XX. Any more XX here? Is this the final bit? I would hope so. Will I be able to find the horn of the wind color there? What have we got there? Wow. Okay, hello. Look like someone's been in here already. But the question of course is whom? And now did they manage to bypass the rest over here? A mysterious note. Dragonborn, I need your help. Urgently Rent the attic room at the Sleepy Giant Inn in the River Root and I'll meet you. The attic room. Interesting, okay. So where I was meant to, of course, discover an item here. It is not here. Well, that one's empty, so it doesn't make sense for me to go through it. Is anyone else empty? That one's still got a load in there. Wow, nice. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to come out to that door that I basically couldn't go through earlier now. We'll see so in a second. Alrighty then. Lots of tunnels. There we go. Pull the lever. And that's the stone, but then from the opposite side that we saw earlier. We already on the map saw there was something there, but I couldn't get through it because it was only openable from the opposite side. Anyways. Let's head back home. Back up the stairs. Almost there. Ooh. All right, I'm outside again. That means I can quick travel at this point. Let's quick travel to our home once more in Whiterun. And actually, let's visit the shops in Whiterun first. At least assuming it's still daytime. Yes, it is. It's just a bit rainy at present. Alright, what can I sell you? Oh, let's first check if you got the Dwarven. No, you haven't got the Dwarven stuff yet. Anyway, Elven Armor. I'm not going to wear it, so let's sell it. Increase my speech abilities. Okay. Let's check inside the other shop then. All right, what else can we sell you? Apparel, anything useful here? No, only stuff that I sold you earlier. Let's sell some more of that stuff to you then. Black mage robes. And you haven't got enough money to buy the rest of me. So what can I buy from you to give you a bit of money so you can buy more off of me? Soul gems, always helpful. I prefer to buy the empty ones so I can fill them myself. Refined Moonstone is a useful one. Again, you haven't got enough money for that. This 
scroll a bit too valuable but maybe you can buy some of the food that I'm carrying around which I don't need anyways I'm pretty sure I picked up something here that I didn't need a tankard for example alright let's leave it off with that so let's go back to our own home now and let's drop off some of the stuff that we don't really need at this point really Oops, there we go. That's the door to my home. Ah, hi Lydia. Thanks for looking after my home. Yes, Lydia. You're always honored to see your thane. Any useful books to drop in here? Yes, there are. Anything else in, the, in terms of miscellaneous stuff? Iron ingots. Refined moonstone. Keys. I'm not going to drop any keys here, but I can, of course, drop all of this stuff here. Death bells. All these other ingredients. All useful elements to drop off here. I'm carrying quite a few potions, as you can see. Apparel wise, nothing I really want to drop off here. Weapon wise, the same goes for that. So guys, let's go back to our standard saving location, which is really at the entrance of our residence here. And we're going to call it a day. So guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And of course, we're going to save the game here before we're going to call it a day. Oops, that was a quick save. I need to do a real save. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.